Hey teachers, first day of literally anything can be awkward and boring. So imagine how a first day of a class would feel like. So here are some easy, fun icebreakers. Our first icebreaker is called deserted island. Place students into groups of four or five and tell them that they are stranded on a deserted island. Explain that they must select five items from their personal belongings to help them survive and that each member of their group must contribute one thing. Give them about 10 minutes to dig through their bags, purses, and pockets to select necessary items. Then have each group stand and explain what they select and how each object is essential to their survival. Deserted Island has always been one of my favorites because it establishes a collaborative, cooperative learning environment on the very first day. Our second icebreaker is called Six Word Introduction. Make students describe themselves in a complete sentence using only six or seven or eight words. It's up to you. It may appear easy, but it's a lot more difficult than it seems. After they introduce their sentences, and if you got time, you can move on to another topic like Describe last night using six words only. Describe your favorite artist in six words only. Describe your worst day in six words only. You got it, right? Let's move on then. Our last icebreaker has no name, but allow me to explain it. Let students sit in a circle and each student is required to think of an adjective that describes them and rhymes or starts with the same letter as their first name. For example, Silly Sally or Donna Banana. Each student will yell out that new name and from there the group will go around the circle. The second student would then repeat the first person's name and then state their adjective and name. The third would then say the first, the second, and so on. The game continues until everyone in the circle has gone. To make things more fun, the student who doesn't remember any of the previous names has to go last. That's pretty it. Thank you, teacher, for watching this.